Unraveling Threads. That's Meta's new social media app. And yesterday, social media expert at Coastal Carolina University, Matthew Gilbert, weighed in on the emergence of threads, its rapid success, and what he thinks it means for Twitter. Today, Gilbert talks with me about the history of social media and what the future could look like. Okay, so let's look back on the evolution of social media. I remember, I'm going to age myself here for a second. I remember <laughs> MySpace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how has it changed and how has user consumption changed? Well, I remember MySpace as well, so don't okay. feel bad. <laughs> but to further age myself, my oldest social media account is actually my LinkedIn account. And there's a part of LinkedIn where you can go and see when you started the account. So for me, I opened my LinkedIn account on September 29th, 2004. So I've seen the rise and fall of a lot of platforms that have lasted, like LinkedIn. Although LinkedIn was really kind of just like a dead Rolodex for many years until it got to the point of Microsoft buying it and then thereafter it really became robust and useful. But some, somehow it was able to kind of hang on and keep going. I've seen the rise and fall of things like Vine, MySpace. Um, and the trick I think is why some have fallen by the wayside is they either were a solution in search of a problem or they didn't evolve or adapt enough. And with all things, as we consume anything, media, products, whatnot, we look for things that are newer. We want the shiny new thing. I mean, that's why every year you have a new model car. If you've ever watched the Social Network movie, there's a scene where the co-founder of Facebook says to Zuckerberg, well, we launched it, now we're done. And Zuckerberg says, well, we're, we're never done. We're like fashion. Every year we have to have something new. We have to evolve. We have to change. And that was really the death knell for MySpace. So yeah, I think you know we continue to be open to new platforms, but if they don't really provide a value and they don't really give us something that is unique or at least better than something we currently have, it will, it will sort of dissolve and have no relevance. To some degree, consolidation isn't a great thing because if there's too much data in one organization's hands, who knows what they're doing with it and what kind of recourse do you have and what kind of responsibility do they have? That said, I think when you look at Facebook and how over time they've sort of consumed or merged with or basically bought other platforms, that has been successful for them. And Twitter has tried that with different platforms. Like they've had things like Periscope, which is a video app, and we're using that. They um, bought Vine, which is kind of a, one of the first short video format things. And it just never went anywhere. I think part of that is because Twitter doesn't completely lend itself to a walled garden community, which is what Facebook is. In Facebook, you have a more insulated sense of, these are my people, we are all here. Now, when I started using Twitter, which is 2008, further age myself, um, it was a really exciting experience. I got to know tons of people. When I logged on to Twitter, which is most people, everyone's first tweet is, I'm on Twitter, what do I do? And I just, for me, I just started searching hashtags of things that were of interest to me and just started following people. I think, generally speaking, Twitter has devolved and it's become this very isolated, kind of like one off, kind of like what I would call like a drive by shouting, mm. right? Where people just drop things and they run off, you know? And whereas Instagram, even Facebook, definitely, it's a little bit more of a cohesive feeling. One interesting thing, by the way, as far as features go, is that the Threads app as it launched currently is pretty bare bones. It's a very simplified version of Twitter. So it doesn't have a lot of the functionality that Twitter does have. So you can't search hashtags. There's no direct messaging. And I'm almost positive that they'll add that. I can't see them not evolving over time. Um, so even though it is limited, it's interesting to see how quickly it has been adapted and adopted by different people who are curious to use it or like I said, because they're already on Instagram, they just sort of are using it, even if they're not. <laughs> yeah, this is social media expert Matthew Gilbert weighing in on Meta's new app, Threads, and the future of social media. Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. It's my pleasure.